Well, most moms get involved in Moms in Prayer International, mothers praying for their children in schools because they're fearful of the culture that we're raising our children in. So they meet together to pray one hour every week to stand on the living and active Word of God, offensively bringing their children and teachers to the throne, asking anything according to His will. That's my story. But what I didn't see coming when I joined 25 years ago was that God would allow our family to walk a road of brokenness with a prodigal child. But he had already knit together a sisterhood, a safe and confidential place that I could go each week and when I only had tears, those precious sisters would say my girl's name in prayer and believe by their faith that God was at work. And what a celebration we had when she returned. And I also remember getting a call from a public school teacher, and he said to me, I am keenly aware that when I walk into my classroom each morning, I am walking into a battlefield. Will you please, please pray for me? We are Moms in Prayer International. We pray in agreement prayer and often tears because our kids are worth it, and God says to pray. We seek to know Him, and we see Him working every single week as we look for answers and thank Him. We are celebrators because a win for your child is a win for me and a win for the kingdom. We look teachers in the eye and we say, you are making a difference, and I'm praying for you, whether it's Christian, public, private, or homeschool. We are the body, interracial, multilingual, interdenominational, praying in homes and in many churches. We are in every state and in 146 countries. Praise the Lord. We're young moms to grand moms, special needs moms, military moms, prison moms, college moms. We're working moms, stay-at-home moms, single and married. And we're surrogate moms, any woman who has a passion to pray for children in schools. Our differences make us stronger because we believe that together there's no higher, higher calling than to follow Christ and help us to raise Christ followers that will change the culture they're growing up in. Dear sisters, I want to ask you a question today. Who is it that God would want you to do battle with together? to pray for the very lives of your children and the generations and those who have great influence over them. Ask him and join the global army of prayer. I stand here today changed and confident because I have a group of women that I trust that I battle with every single week. Please check us out at momsandprayer.org. Stop at our booth right across here. We'd love to get you started, help you find a group. I believe God wants to change all our lives through prayer. Thank you so much. Thank you, Marla.